Vanna, Jessica. Okay, uh, remember guys, always when we're doing inequalities, or even when we're doing equations, whenever you see parentheses, we want to get rid of our parentheses, our grouping symbols. We want to need to get rid of them. So what we need to apply is our distributive property. Okay, everybody should have been able to simplify our inequality first for this. Because this doesn't really have anything to do with um, our inequality yet. All we need to make sure we can do is simplify our inequality. So now what I did by using the distributive property, I got rid of my parentheses. Does everybody see what I did? Yeah. Yeah. Now remember it says solve and graph the inequality. So that means I need to get rid, I need to solve for one variable. Right now I have a variable on the left, negative 6w, and I have a variable on the right, 2w. So what I need to do is I need to get the variables to the same side. You want to have what I do? I can add the 6w to the other side, right. Now, if you could also subtract the 2w on both sides, but what I, like I said, I've told you guys over and over, I prefer to always get rid of the smaller variable because then it just avoids negative numbers. And that's really helpful with inequalities to avoid negative numbers because remember, if you have to divide or multiply by negative numbers, you always have to flip the sign, right? And then you can forget about that and stuff like that. So the best thing is to get rid of our smaller variable, which is a negative 6 value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that. And make sure you add that to both sides of your inequality. All right? A couple mistakes. Students want to add 6w to 10, or they want to add 6w to 6. Remember, it's both sides of your inequality. And remember, you can only add like terms. Since these are both w's, you can only add them together. So now this is going to cancel to 0. So I'm just left on this side. Negative 6 is less than 8w plus 10. Now, remember, I need to get this w by itself. So I need to undo what's happening to the w. Well, first of all, my w is being added by 10, so I subtract 10 on both sides. So negative 6 minus 10 is a negative 16 less than 8w. Now, to get rid of multiplication of 8, I need to divide by 8. Therefore, I have negative 2 is less than w. Okay. Now, listen to what I say. Negative 2 is less than w, or you could say w is greater than negative 2. I want you to make sure you're when you're speaking about this. Hold on. I want you to make sure you're speaking of this with your variable in front. W is greater than negative 2. So what that means is all values that are greater than negative 2 are going to make our inequality true. Hold on. I'm going to show you how to graph real quick. So therefore, if I was going to graph this and I was going to say, here's my point negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 3, negative 4. The first thing we do is we make a circle at negative 2, all right? And it says w all the values that are greater than negative 2. Well, is that going to be all my values to the right or to the left? The right. The right. To the right. So you're going to draw an arrow going to the right. Lastly, lastly, we're going to take a look at this and say, all right, is my, do I going to fill in my dot or are I going to leave it open? Well, remember, we can always do test intervals, right? Negative 2 is greater than negative 2. Is negative 2 greater than negative 2? No, it's false. Therefore, negative 2 is not a part of my solution. So please, don't run back up in front. Um, but therefore, it's going to be left in